What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another beer review, Huggies Beer Reviews, and today we have yet another IPA. And I know I said I was going to stop reviewing so many IPAs, but there's just so many IPAs, so I can't help myself, especially when I come across an IPA that I've been wanting to try for a long time. This one's from Terrapin Beer Company in Georgia. This is their Hopsecutioner in Via Pale Ale. Now, this is, of course, uh, a six-pack. This is, Hopsecutioner is one of Terrapin's year-round beers. Um, on the bottle, just to give you an idea, and of course it has a little turtle guy looking like an executioner there. Terrapin Hopsecutioner, it says, Hear ye, hear ye, all hopheads shall herewith rejoice. Terrapin hath recruited ye old Hopsecutioner to execute the exact hop profile for this killer IPA. And, prepare yourself, this is cheesy. It says, you may lose your hop head over this one. Yeah. I mean, it could be a great beer, but that's still a, a cheesy line. Um, so yeah, Terrapin, I've had several Terrapin beers in the past. Um, I've reviewed their Rye Pale Ale and their Hop Karma India Brown Ale on YouTube. You can look for those reviews in wherever the link thing is. I think it's up here now. Um, and I recently reviewed their Rye Squared um, Double IPA Rye Brew. Rye PA, whatever you want to call it. Um, I reviewed that on my website on beerbreath.com, so check uh, check out the website for that one. It's one of the most recent entries. Um, looking at it here on Beer Advocate, like always, um, this beer, Hopsecutioner, receives a B plus out of 177 reviews. It is, of course, from Terrapin Beer Company in Georgia, categorized as an American IPA at 7.2 ABV. So that's a pretty good ABV for an IPA. Um, you know, now like I said, I've, I've had several beers from Terrapin before. To be completely honest, none of them has really impressed me. I can't say any of them were bad, but there was just no oomph to any of them. The rye pale was tame for a, a rye pale. The rye square didn't have enough rye for a double IPA rye brew. And the hot karma wasn't bad, but meh. I don't know. You can go back and, and check out the review for that. Again, they're not bad, but they're not spectacular. So today, we finally break out their IPA, a style you guys know I love, and a style you guys know I'm very knowledgeable in. You know, when you have about 40 different IPAs, you learn a little about the style. So, let's see. Of course, the IPA goblet, as always, a large percentage of those 40 IPAs were drank out of this glass. So, we have that, and we have a brand new opener, really simple little metal opener thingy. Um, and before I get to the beer, I just want to give a shout out to my homegirl Christian, Kristen over at Great Spirits, our local neighborhood lovely liquor store. Um, not only is she nice enough to put beers on hold for me behind the counter, but she threw in the opener on the house today. Um, check her out, she's also got a beer blog, local beer news, it's uh, beerambassador.blogspot.com, I'll put the link up on here. And, uh, you know, she's a, a big, uh, she's a bigger beer freak than I am, so God love her. I'll leave it at that and get to the beer, but thank you, Kristen. And onward. This is a nice, fresh Terrapin IPA. Ooh, a bit smoky. Mm. Oh, that smelled good. Hmm. A bit on the dark side. It's maybe a malty beer. Actually, no. It's 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 a beautiful amber orange color, kind of a light copper, almost the color of a brand new penny. Yeah, that that looks really nice though. It is clear, um, and it's got a very nice frothy off-white head, almost an inch worth. So yeah, it looks very nice. Mmm, and it smells very nice. There's some citrus in there, but there's also some fruit, pineapple, hints of dark fruit, pineapple, citrus, grapefruit, a little earthiness to it as well. And you can pick up kind of a caramelly sweetness underneath that, so there's your, there's your malt. So yeah, it does appear to be kind of a balanced IPA. Hmm. It's another sweet flavor in there that I can't pinpoint, but it, it still smells good. It's appealing. So let's see just how sharp the hot bite is. Mm. 
Oh, that's good. That is good. I would have to say it kind of reminds me of the Clipper City uh, Heavy Seas, their Loose Cannon IPA. And I might have, I've only had it once or twice, but I'm, I'm also going to say the Sierra Nevada Torpedo. It's very clean, it's very crisp. There's a citrusy hot bite, citrusy resiny or resinous hot bite right up front. Mm. The malt middle is very soft, not a very strong, sweet malt presence. Again, that's going to change as the beer warms, but as of right now, it's not coming off as a very malty beer, but it does have a sturdy malt body, and the finish is just more oily, resinous hops. After, the more I drink it, the more it does remind me of kind of like a, a loose cannon. It's, the body is, it's pretty light, considering the color, considering the ABV on this, it's pretty light. And the alcohol is 7%, I don't really notice the, uh, the alcohol at 7.2. But it reminds me of a loose cannon because it's, it's, it's fruity, it's bitter, yet it's smooth, and I don't want to say thin and I don't want to say light, but it's on that end of the scale. Very easy to drink, very refreshing. And the finish, the aftertaste, it's hoppy, it's resinous, but it's not too, it doesn't stick around that long, you know? It, it's not that strong and that overpowering. That's a pretty good IPA. Not one of the most complex IPAs out there, but still a good combination of flavors. And as far as, you know, taste and texture and appearance, it gets an A on all of those. I mean, it looks good. It tastes good. It's smooth. It's easy to drink. It's, I'm going to have fun for the next couple hours. I'm backed up on my review, so i got about an hour and a half, two hours worth of editing to do. That's about four videos. And then some stuff I want to watch. My, uh, my girl's down, uh, well, she didn't go all the way to Miami. She's visiting her mom in, uh, in, in Broward. So... I'm kind of home alone today, so I can catch up on all my stuff. So, yeah, guys, which is why I picked this up. I've had this on hold for about a week. I said, today's the day. I got some peace and quiet. But that's about it. It's hot in here. I finally got this review out the way. I'm going to turn the air on and open the windows, ventilate this place, and i got to do some cleaning and a lot of stuff. But back to the beer, because I'm just rambling now. This is good. This is a very, very strong glass half full. It really is. I like this brew. It's not an overwhelmingly complex IPA, but it's tasty. It really is. Terrapin, out of all the beers I've tried from them, this is number four, I guess. This is my favorite so far. Hopsecutioner is a good IPA and another one to put on my list. So there it is, guys. If you want to try some Terrapin, if you have it available to you in your area and you like IPAs, check it out. It's solid. It really is solid. Good stuff. So that's it, guys. As always, thanks for joining me. And remember, I'm on Twitter now. Anybody who likes to get uh, Twitter updates, new videos and blog posts and whatever other beer-related stuff you want to hear, uh, hear about, hit me up on there. It's uh, twitter.com slash hoggiesbeer. So, yeah, um, add me on there. Add me on here. Keep checking me out. i got a lot more reviews coming, so stay tuned. There's a lot more beer in the fridge. Cheers, guys.